instituted a new policy that prohibits customers from giving any special instructions when they order. STN found out how students feel about this new policy in this week's open mic. I hate tomatoes and they told me that I have to get tomatoes on it and they're not going to do any accommodations for anyone. You just have to get it how they're put. Well, to be honest, let's say someone's allergic to, to tomatoes or you know, anything in, in that matter. Why would they not be able to call that order the way they want it? You know, it's a little, it's a little absurd being that this is supposed to be a restaurant. Yeah, so people are going to pick out their tomatoes out of their food and it's a waste of food. And there's tons of people out there who need it. Well, some people may have certain allergies to foods like lettuce, cheese, um, any kind of food. Um, so I've been working in a restaurant for like eight years and a lot, of, a lot of times people modify their burgers, sandwiches, wraps, anything. And it's really not a big deal just to pick it off. I think it's a bad idea because I'm eliminating a process. I mean, I don't like tomatoes. It's not like really that bad of, like it's not that hard to just not put something in the wrap that you're making. No, I think it's pretty ridiculous. Um, if you have a food allergy and you have a wrap that has lettuce or cheese in it and you can't get it without lettuce or cheese, what are you supposed to do? Um, so it's really unfortunate and I think it's kind of messed up. SDN has calls into both Aramark and SGA and is working on getting their side of the story next week. And last week, STN heard from students who were unhappy about a new policy that restricts students from altering their order at the Hawk's Nest. This week, STN Channel 2 News Director Ben Wilcox spoke with the manager at the Hawk's Nest to get their side of the story. We have seen an influx of students in numbers. We're reaching 700 per night on a daily basis, including on the weekends. So imagine five and a half hours and trying to serve 700 people out of a small kitchen. Speed of service was the main reason for the Hawks Nest new policy. Another was the feeling that some students were cheating the meal plan system. It was more all the other modifications. Students would ask no sauce, no cheese, no bread. So in essence they were getting chicken with fries and that would hold up the line. Esther says that students with food allergies simply have to tell the cashier and their food will be modified and that tomatoes have been taken off all wrapped sandwiches and are an option to be put on the side. We did also um, add a gold fever wrap which was a quite popular sauce that a lot of students would ask for as a modifier. The Hawk's Nest also added a vegan wrap and a new veggie wrap. We do have all the different sauces that they can dip their wrap in or pour it on their wrap however they'd like it. Yet some feel since buying a meal plan is mandatory, it gives Aramark free range over their policies. Um, I sympathize, but, you know, being a student, I did go to school here, like I said, and, you know, being out now in the real world where you have to buy groceries over a 16-week period, it ends up costing about the same amount. The Hawks Nest says the best time to go for fast service would be at their opening every night at 5 p.m. or right before meal plans change at 10 p.m.